An iconic footballer who made the news for good reasons and for bad reasons. As English football fans, we loved his football. We didn't like some of the gamesmanship, and that's being kind, calling it gamesmanship. Mm. And in that one game in 1986, you had the hand of God followed by one of the best goals we've ever seen in our lives when there were a lot of English players really wanted to kick him into Rose Ed. Well, they should have done. They couldn't get near him. That was the big problem. Yeah, They could goal. not get near him. He picks up the ball in his own half, weaves his way through. Nobody can get near him. And when they do get close enough, his physique, his stature was such that he just wasn't going to be knocked off the ball. And he mm. goes through and he scores. A wonder goal. Yeah, for me, Aid as well, I mean, that game, that was just a small uh, bit of his career, wasn't it? I mean, for years and years and years, the skill he showed. I mean, even standing still, he wasn't afraid to showboat on the pitch, was he? He loved a little showboat. Mm. And I think that's why he's a lot of people's favourite uh, footballer. When you watch some of the individual skill, he individually um, won games for whoever he played for at any level. And that's what singles out it for me. Pele, you can't take away the the some of the individual goals he scored and and the the amount of goals he scored. But for Maradona, again, I, you know my thoughts on the Ronaldo Messi uh, debate, where Ronaldo's gone and done it in a lot of different countries, and I think it's the same with Pele and and Maradona to a certain extent. Maradona going to Spain um, with Barcelona at a time when defenders, like I said, were kicking him up in the air um, to go there and then go to Napoli, a team that were way down the table there, shocked everybody when he went there and to carry him to so much success. <sighs> unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. And I think that in terms of who the best player in the world has ever been, I was thinking it was Maradona. And then I watched Messi at Wembley play against Spurs when he was incredible. And I thought, yeah, Messi's the one. Then I watched the Maradona documentary about his time yeah. at Napoli. That's the one you've got I to watch. I flip back. And that is absolutely... When you when you factor in everything that he had to put up with off the field in a city like Naples, and he did it, and he was successful there, and without him, they haven't won titles. Only when he was there for that four-year period did they win titles. They won in Europe as well. So I think that... What I'd like to say is, because Diego Maradona, for, for people of a certain generation, and I'm talking about our generation... He had a big impact on our lives as England fans because at the age of, I'm 51, you're 50. So when we were teenagers, we watched Diego Maradona cheat against England at a World Cup and then score a wonder goal against England at a World Cup. So we hated him and loved the football in kind of equal measure. But that, that dislike of the hand of God yeah. stayed with us. It impacted our lives so much. I desperately wanted England to knock Argentina and Maradona out of the World Cup. And then he went and did that. And then you put it in the recent history of the Falklands crisis in 82, and you realise there was so much more to it than just his hand putting the ball in the back of the net. They had to win that game. That's what it comes down to. With everything that had gone before, they had to win that game, and they would have done anything to win that game. We were the typical English, as, as we would be when we come down to playing sport. For them, it was everything. They had to win it no matter what. Well, when you talk about um, certain sportsmen who take on the pressure and expectation of a whole country, and Messi's trying to do that with Argentina and has been trying to do it with Argentina for over 10 years now, Diego Maradona did it with Argentina and won a World Cup. He did it with Napoli and won two titles and a cup in Europe as well. So he not only took on that responsibility, shouldered all of that, but he was successful with it as well, which is absolutely incredible. And I go back to that 86 World Cup, and then the semi-final, after the quarter-final against England, the semi-final against Belgium, he ripped them apart. There's a sensational photograph of Maradona with about five or six Belgian players in front of him. He absolutely tore them apart, to the point where the Belgian keeper at the end of the game, Jean-Marie Pfaff, raced out of his goal at the final whistle to swap shirts with Maradona. This is a World Cup semi-final he's just lost, but that's how highly he was regarded by other footballers. They go on to the World Cup final. The irony is he didn't score in the World Cup final, but he was brilliant again, and Argentina won the World Cup. Maradona effectively won the World Cup. Now, you fast forward from 86, 24 years on, South Africa World Cup, and I'm there for talk sport, and I'm in Ellis Park in Johannesburg, about to watch Argentina, Nigeria. I'm in place, waiting for everything to get underway. It's about an hour and a half before kickoff. Diego Maradona's the manager of Argentina. Yep. And 
An hour and a half before kickoff, the place is packed, not just with Argentina fans, but Nigeria fans as well. The place is awash with colour. It's absolutely magnificent. It's a, such a spectacle. Great stadium as well, by the way. But Maradona comes out onto the pitch. He does a lap of honour, the slowest lap of honour you've ever seen. But he does a lap of honour and everybody, everybody, whether Nigerian, Argentinian, South African, neutral, whatever, everybody is lauding this god of football, Diego Maradona, as he slowly makes his way around the perimeter of the pitch at Ellis Park. They go on to win the game 1-0. It wasn't a success in the end, Diego Maradona managing Argentina, but I'll never forget that moment. That told me this whole country of Argentina, this massive country in South America, Argentina, to a man, to a woman, every single one of them loves Diego Maradona. And no doubt, Argentina is going mm. to be in mourning for a long, long time. Absolutely, um, and Napoli as well. I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, that's going to be exactly the same. And when you think about it, and you put, and Pele's going to be in this as well. Uh, when when you look at um, gr great sportsmen, not just great footballers, aid who most people around the world would recognise the face and the name. I mean, Muhammad Ali is in there, Pele is in there, Maradona, one hundred percent in there up with the real greats of sport in history, this guy, not just football aid, in sport in general. And it's not like he's been an angel throughout his career. He's had drugs, bans in that. I mean, some of this stuff, other stuff he's done off the field as well. But his pure greatness as a footballer and the pleasure he brought to thousands and or millions and millions of people around the world will never be forgotten. It, this will go on for years and years and years. Maradona will still be talked about in 100 years. When you think about the Falklands and the political side of it and then the hand of God, if you go around Buenos Aires, I've spoken to Andy Jacobs about this, who's, who, who is familiar with Buenos Aires, he goes there a lot. They still celebrate the hand of God. You know, it is still a celebration. And for him to have the audacity to put the ball in the net with his hand in a World Cup quarter final, celebrate it like it was a good goal, I mean, I think he was waiting for the referee to do something, but the referee so didn't. So we needed a VAR. But then he called it the hand of God. I mean, he had the audacity to call it the hand of God. And you know what? If he was English and it, the, the situation had been reversed and the wartime factor had been in there as well, I think England fans probably would have felt exactly the same way. They'd have we'd have been celebrating it now. If we'd gone on to win the World Cup, we'd still have been celebrating a goal that we'd cheated in against think? our rivals. I absolutely I'm, I'm think I'm not that. so sure, Aid. I think it might have been slightly different. I think it would have been If we'd gone on to win different. the World Cup... I think it would have been slightly different if it would have been a, um, one of our, our, our own players who did that. I think with Argentina, with everything that had happened for them and the way they felt about everything, that was the be-all and end-all. They had to win that game at all costs. For England, they obviously tried to play the game and, and, and beat Argentina. Well, beat Messi. That's what it came down to. It's uh, absolutely incredible a news today that Diego Armando Maradona, at the age of just 60, has passed away.